Okay, some sample parts of uh, parts of similar triangles. Uh, some sample problems, I mean. Let's try these, okay? And we're going to do parameters. Find the perimeter of triangle XYZ. We're given triangle RST. We're given the three sides. We're given triangle XYZ. And we're given one side. And I'm going to assume that these are corresponding sides. The 10 and the 20 are corresponding sides. What's the perimeter of triangle RST? Well, we add 20 plus 22 plus 24, and we come up with 66. Now, let's set up our proportion. 10 is to 20 as the perimeter of this thing is to 66. Do our cross multiplication. 20p equals 660. Divide by 20, p equals 33. Okay? And we would sort of think that would be true because this is half, so therefore this ought to be one half of the perimeter of that one. Okay? All right, so that's using a side, corresponding sides of similar triangles, to set up our proportion. Now let's look at an altitude where we've got uh, corresponding altitudes of similar triangles to set up the proportions. Find the perimeter of triangle ABC. Okay, we're given that these are similar triangles. What are the corresponding pieces that we have of each one? We have an altitude here, okay, that is 18. We have an altitude here, that is 15. Okay, we have all the pieces here, so we can find the perimeter of MNP. And we add all those together, 8 plus 20 plus 25 plus 17 equals 70. Now let's set up our proportion. 15 is to 18. 15 is to 18 as the perimeter of this triangle is to the perimeter of this triangle. Do a cross multiplication. 15p equals 1,260. Do this multiplication. Now divide by 15 and we find out that the perimeter of this one would be equal to 84. Okay? Alright. That's using uh, finding perimeter using corresponding parts of similar triangles and setting up their proportions and their ratios. Okay, we've got three more problems. Let's look at them pretty quick. Again, we're looking at this parts of similar triangles and corresponding, corresponding parts of similar triangles are proportional. Over here, what we're looking at is we're looking at this is a median. This, this thing right here is median. How do we know? Well, it comes from the opposite vertex and it divides the opposite side into two congruent pieces. So it is the midpoint of the opposite side comes from the opposite vertex. Same thing down here. So what we're looking at is we're looking at medians, okay? Proportional medians. So let's set this up. We want to find x. 18 is to 36 as x is to 20. 18 is to 36 as x to 20. Cross multiply, 36x equals 360, x equals 10. Well, we would expect that, right? 18 is half of 36, therefore x ought to be half of 20. Okay, pretty simple. And this one's not straightforward. This is getting into that angle bisector thing I was talking to you about, where the angle bisector divides the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides. So 11 is proportional to 17 as x is proportional to x plus 7. 11 is proportional to 17 as x is to x plus 7. I have to do a little algebra here. 17x equals 11 times x plus 11 times 7 is 11x plus 77. Subtract the 11x from both sides, you get 6x equals 77. Divide by 6, you get x equals 12.83 repeating. Plug that in here, do that proportion, you'll see that they're both equal. All right? And again, here's another one. We're going to be using, okay, proportional sides. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, this one should be fairly apparent to us, but let's work it out. We've got a 16, we've got a 28 that are corresponding proportional sides. 16 is to 28 as x plus 1 is to 2x minus 2. Let's do this. 32x minus 32. 
do this cross multiplication, do this cross multiplication equals 28x plus 28. Combine like terms, subtract the 28 from both sides, and then add the 32 to both sides. We come up with 4x equals 60, x equals 15. Well, lo and behold, guess what? These two are equal, those are equal, these two are equal, those are equal. Okay? All right, I have one more problem we want to do, which is a little more complicated. Uh, and then we'll be done here. Okay, one last problem on this uh, parts of similar triangles. The concept of corresponding parts of similar triangles are proportional. Okay, this one again is about an angle bisector dividing this, this uh, opposite side into proportional parts that are proportional to have the same ratio. These two have the same ratio as these do. So let's, uh, let's play with this a little bit. This has a little algebra trick in it that we'll use. Some of you are sitting there going, well, dog boy, gee, by what's going on here? Sometimes we have to create the other part. Okay? We're given that this piece here is x, but the total is 28. Well, what does that make this piece? That makes it 28 minus x, right? Okay, so now we have 28 minus x and x. If we add 28 minus x and we add x, we get 28. Okay, so sometimes when we're doing these things in constructions, we have to actually create our other piece by taking the total minus what we know is x, but we don't know x, no, but we're going to make this 28 minus x and x so that we can come up and figure out what's going on. So let's set up a proportion in accordance with that. 20 is to 28 minus x as 30 is to x. Okay? All right? You got that? It's 30 is to x. Okay? <clears throat> Let's do a cross multiplication. 20 times x is 20x. 30 times 28 is 840 minus 30x. Combine like terms. We're going to add 30x to both sides. So we end up with 50x equals 840. Do the division. Divide 840 by 50, and we get x equals 16.8. Okay, so this piece is 16.8. What's the other piece? Well, that's 28 minus x, which is 11.2. So this piece over here is 11.2. Plug those back into here, and you'll find out that they are the same proportion or the same ratio. Okay, so that's a little more complex, where we actually have to take and create this, this here, this piece so that we can set up the ratios and then set up the proportion and do our cross multiplication. Okay? So that ends our discussion on proportions and how they deal with, particularly in triangles and uh, corresponding parts of similar triangles being proportional.